Welcome to your Daily Five for Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. My wife and I are halfway through watching the fifth season, the most recent season of the television comedy What We Do in the Shadows, which of course is an adaptation from a movie made by Taika Waititi and Jermaine Clement, if I'm pronouncing those two names right. Maybe I am, not sure. I think I got close, maybe. And I've talked about it before. I found it to be a one of the probably best, and I'm certainly not alone in this. I'm not saying anything that other people aren't saying, but it has been a phenomenally successful ensemble show in terms of comedy where they they have some of the there's some of the funniest people you could see in this show and especially the first three seasons I don't know if there's a weak episode in that first three seasons whatsoever now in season four things got a little interesting because I started to notice that some of the reviews weren't necessarily as glowing about every episode and re-watching it because we re-watched from season one up until and then started into five and we're halfway we just finished episode five and even my wife who I think far represents an average viewer better than me because my wife is not as harsh about a lot of things and is not as forgiving about other things as I am. As Lando has pointed out, I will watch a movie that would be intolerable to most people and I will come out with something good to say about it because that's just the way my brain works. Whereas my wife represents an average viewer. She wants to watch something that is, if it's comedy, it's funny and that's it. She doesn't want to have to look for whether they were trying to achieve some kind of subtext. She just wants to be entertained by whatever it is in whatever flavor it's supposed to be, which is most people. So I use her as a better gauge for an average viewer than I certainly could ever be because I I just do not exist in that space. I am an abnormal person, top to bottom. And she, I remember after we finished season four, she said, you know, that season wasn't necessarily as good as the other ones. And it is definitely clear that there are some little evolutions happening. And the interesting bit about it is I don't know whether they're going to be sustainable Because I don't know if most of the audience is going to stick around for it. I've noticed it in season five as well. Although, and let me explain what I mean. The first three seasons are just comedic. It's just funny. It's just funny with little tiny character moments here and there. So I'd say 90% humor, 10% character development. But really, it was about delivering jokes. It was about the humor. Season four is where it felt like they started to shift that mix a bit. Where there was the idea to insert more character development Actual, I'm not saying it ever going to become a drama or anything like that. I'm not suggesting that. But it definitely felt like the humor got dialed back at times to an extent to allow for some serious character work. It's here and there, but it's definitely present. And I think maybe it was too sudden of a shift, even though it wasn't that much of one for most people. Because some of the reviews I noticed in season four were starting to point out, oh, this episode, a little bit lesser type of thing. Season five, at least at the halfway point, feels like it has adjusted that enough where they are still doing character work, but the humor is more punchy at times, maybe to overcome some of the stuff that some people might find drags a bit. And I don't know if that's going to continue. And I'm curious because it was renewed for two seasons. This is one and then there's another one. I will be curious how what this show will look like depending on how long it goes. I don't know whether it's going to continue to try to have that shift or whether it's going to end before the shift becomes drastic enough that people get tired of it. I don't, my wife actually thinks the fifth season is better than the fourth season. So that's a good sign. Cause again, I use her as a, a normal viewer barometer and she likes this season so far better than the last one. So that again, indicates to me that the shift that they're trying to do or the rebalancing is working, but I don't necessarily dislike the idea that this show could end up being more dramatic and serious than it started off as because the characters are characters I like watching. If you make them better, I don't really mind if the humor reduces a bit, if that makes sense. But I don't know if that's what everybody wants. Again, you're trying to make a show that a lot of appeals to a broad spectrum of people. And if the success in the initial part was mostly for the comedy, you start dialing that back. Is that going to work? Are people going to stick around because of those first stronger seasons? I don't know. Trying to game out the way people's minds work in a larger form is beyond me. I don't know. But I know it wouldn't bother me, but I'm not the normal viewer. I don't don't come at this as an average person. So I'd be curious if anybody is watching, what... How are you feeling about the way the humor and the more serious moments are being balanced? Is it just me? Is that not happening? I don't know. Let me know if you're watching it, what you think. Later.